Hi, this is Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage here with Andy Moran, the mayor of Folsom, and I really appreciate your seeing us today. I'm happy to be here, Kevin. I'll tell you, Folsom is on fire right now. We've made some decisions. You guys as the city council did some great decisions a few mm -hmm. years ago in 07, 08 when the market was tough, and we've been able to really reap some benefit. Mm -hmm. Well, another thing that we wanted to talk about today was what's happening south of 50. And as a real estate agent, you're probably wondering how that's going to impact you. And Andy's going to share a little bit about what is uh, in store for us. I'm ha happy to give you the latest details. So uh, Tell us about it. Sure. So, so this is a process that started probably 20 years ago as far as the annexation process through LAFCO. Um, and as you could imagine, when you annex six square miles of new property into your community, um, there's a lot of hurdles to get over. So, uh, so we worked through that process. Um, annexation occurred a few years ago, finally. And so now the process is working with all the landowners. You see the different colors on the maps, which are really land use, different land use categories. Um, there, we're probably looking at about 20 different property owners um, south of Highway 50, and they're all beginning to position themselves for their, you know, whether it's commercial property, um, residential property. Um, we have a thousand acres of open space, which represents about 30% uh, of the six square mile land area. So right. we're planning parks, we're planning bike trails, um, even the, the light blue there you can see are all uh, proposed school sites. So, uh, so a lot of the preliminary planning is done and we're just at the precipice of uh, getting some infrastructure out there as far as the water, sewer, power, gas lines. And that'll lead us up to some of the first development there, which will probably be single-family homes. Fantastic. So as we're looking at this here, so this is Empire Ranch right up on top, and then we're at Scott Road. So a lot of our development looks like it's going to be happening right uh, where the cows are there on, on the other side of the hill. Right. So what, what we're probably going to see is, is uh, this area up in here, which is if you go up Old Placerville Road out there in the, the wide open space right now, just as you go up the hills there, these homes up in here, proposed homes, are probably some of the first that you see constructed um, there in the, the new area south of nice. Highway 50. So when do you think we're really going to see that start? So, so the, the prospects at this point look like we should start seeing some dirt turning um, down there later this year or next year, and that'll represent the start of the infrastructure work. 2015. So, and then homes probably a year to two years after that. And, and as, as we all understand um, in your business, is um, that's market driven. So if the demand for housing stays um, moderate to high, um, that'll move along and we should see uh, you know, the beginning of home construction there along those timelines. Absolutely. Low inventory right now drives builders to build more homes. Right. So our right. timing's perfect. Exactly. And How about water? Is water going to impact us at all as not, far as the drought? No. We are well positioned from a long time ago in the city of Folsom for uh, water. So um, you know, certainly during drought years, dry years, the, the amount allocated to Folsom gets reduced, but um, just with some good um, a conscientious conservation um, easily get through even some of the worst of the dry years. So uh, well, we perce have perception hold us back. I mean, I know we're going to be off of well for the most part, aren't we? No, we are all all the, all the entire city of Folsom will be uh, surface um, okay. Folsom Lake water. And, uh, and and when I talk infrastructure, that's one of our first things is making sure we get the the, the water supply that we have and that's available for this area. Um, you know, is conveyed to yeah. this area so they can start uh, hooking up service to, to the city Excellent. water system. Well, there you go. So we'll start to see uh, breaking brown to a ground in 2015 and houses maybe in a year or two. Yep, 2016, 2017. Time All right. looks like that. Go Folsom. Yeah, I great. really appreciate it. My pleasure, Thanks for Kevin. being with us. Thank you. Andy Moran, Folsom uh, Mayor. Annette Davidson with Chipman Corporation, a professional relocation and moving service, came by to tell us about three types of moves and how to get a quote. Here's some of what she had to say. Uh, a lot of my clients will ask me what the difference is between a local move and a long distance move. A uh, local move within ca in California, it's anything under a hundred mile radius and it's strictly by the hour. Um, on an intrastate move within California, there's, um, it's all by weight and mileage and it's anything over a hundred miles. Then we have the interstate move, 
and that's strictly by mileage and weight. The full interview with Annette can be seen at the Iron Point Mortgage YouTube page. We have another new listing by rock star Lucy Regini with Capital Equity Group in Folsom, California. Take it away, Lucy. Hi, I'm Lucy Regini with Capital Equity Group, and I'm excited to be here in my new listing at 1107 Fong Court in Folsom. One word to describe this house is location. It is just a few minutes walk from downtown historic Folsom, Lake Natoma, and fantastic running and biking trails. As you walk into this home, you can clearly see the grand entrance with the high vaulted ceilings. I'm standing in here in the dining room with the living room behind me. The home has been beautifully painted both inside and out. It's three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,933 square feet. Come and enjoy and relax in your well-maintained private backyard. To answer any more questions that you may have about this property or first showing, please give me a call at 916-467-2442. Again, I'm Lucy Regini with Capital Equity Group. Awesome job, Lucy. Keep up the great work. That's another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for your feedback. Keep the comments coming. Again, I'm Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage here at the Real Estate Insider Weekly, and we're here to help you grow. Have a great week.